Hello, everybody. Merry Christmas. How are you? 12 people already here. Wow, that's pretty great. Okay, let's get this party started. I'll do some housekeeping while we wait for people to get here. It is December 2021, and um, lots going on, lots of censorship. So they took my Etsy store down. So I bought a domain, and I'm building my own store, and I put a link here in the chat and it's mushroomvoice.com and the store is supposed to be opening january 14th so we'll see about that and patreon we have zoom meetings and they're on the first and second saturdays but now i've started a third saturday meeting that i'm not at but y'all are at and this was by request of the community because they really enjoy hanging out a lot of friendships are made there so I think that's probably going to be a thing and we may wind up as it grows <laughs> Why am I selling face mask. <laughs> um, we'll see. You mean this looks on my face. Um, oh, you mean, oh, that's merch. Yeah. Because some people want them. No, people don't buy merch usually, but I leave it there because people ask, but that's not the greatest way to support me. I don't make much money off of it and I'm not big into merchandising stuff like that but people ask so i leave it there but if you want to support the work that i'm doing and we'll talk a little bit about censorship and y'all probably already seen the videos about that but we won't talk about it too much but the way things are going now with censorship and the trouble that i'm having trying just to find a merchant it turns out you have to go to a high risk merchant so all that costs a lot of money but the best way that you can support what i'm trying to do is to just become a patron. And that way, instead of buying stuff, you actually get like a community. And we'll talk like face to face or whatever, but also you get to meet other people that are like you. And a lot of friendships are made there. A lot of people like exchange information or whatever and network with each other. And it makes me really happy. <laughs> You're welcome, Malika. It makes me happy because when I was just alone here in this house, coming out of where I was and finding Amanita, whatever, I felt like such a weirdo and a freak. And I didn't have a tribe. I didn't have anybody that understood me. I had isolated for nine months because I gave up trying to find anyone like me. I didn't trust people anymore. Trying to do my shadow work left me lonely. And I felt like I was coming out of it. But, you know, there was that whole medication stuff. So, I was like, you know what? There's got to be other people like me. And I would love to meet other people like me. But then for it to go one step further and see people out there meeting each other because of the platforms I've created, like the forum and now the Zoom meetings, to watch people networking and creating relationships outside of me that are going onward and creating other relationships. I teach people how to do drum ceremonies, like when we have our solstice celebration. And I teach classes on how to start a, a ceremony in your area and why it's important. And people are leaving and going and doing that using what my channel is about and teaching people about that and drums. Like it's, this is more than I ever would have thought or hoped for in such a very short time. So yeah, that's pretty cool. Okay. Let's see. Uh, hello. Hey, Elaine. El El Hey dreamer. Oh, hey, Atomic Zombie. Uh, hi, hi, Con. Hi, Annette. Anne Marie, howdy. Thank you for going live. Merry Christmas from Europe. Hey, Gladdy. Yeah, I tried to do it at this time so that Europe could still get in. I know it's really late there, you know. Christine, right? Same, yep. Same, same, same. Lovely accent, and thank you for what you do. I don't have an accent. What are you talking about? Why well, support someone who are supporting the biggest scam in human history? Oh, you know what? We're here to be beautiful to each other and love each other and be good to each other. You're out later. Okay, we all need a tribe. Yep. We are here. Hey, Tessa. Hey, Tracy. Hey, Christine. Yay. Uh, do you think muscle twitching, uncontrollable convulsions are attributed to Ivo or Muscomol? That's the Ivo. That's the upside of it. Yep. Uh, Moonchild, hello from Italy. Yay. Yes, I got it right. Okay. James, hey, from Rhode Island. Yeah, wow, you are very far north. Merry Christmas from Sweden. Hey, Thomas. 
James, wicked thick accent. That's hilarious. I sound normal. I don't know. <laughs> hey, Pamela, I didn't know you were in Idaho. Um, yep, Christine, they were gone. Why do people show up to a to a community that they're not a part of and then act surprised and offended? I don't get it. Oh, thank you, Basu. I am doing well. I'm so happy. Annette, I think we all have accents. Like, there's a couple of people in the Midwest that don't. Brian. Hi, Brian. In the Crescent City Redwoods. Man, you know what? After going to Canada and visiting that area of the country, that's that's where I really want to be, I think. I've got like a two-year plan now to get out of the South and work my way in that direction. Hey, Juka from Finland. Hey, from Oklahoma. I get out your way to hike the AT. Oh, I know. Hey, I saw your comment, by the way, Papa Duke, on the uh, about the AT. You know, you commented on one of my videos. Saw it this morning when I got up. James, love your entire aesthetic and vibe. <laughs> I get so celebratory this time of year, you know, to troll rolling eyes. Right, Christine? Assholes. Hey, Dreamer, big hugs from Austin. Oh, hey. Hey, Annalise. Yay. I'm glad you're here. That's cool. Annalise came to our solstice celebration ceremony thing. Hey, Basu. Beautiful. Thank you. DIY live. Hi, LA. Yay. My daughter is moving to LA. She's got a one year plan to get to LA. We're all leaving the South. Hey, Tom, North Carolina. You're close to home. Can you smoke it or the blends? I mean, I smoke it that all by itself um, on the solstices and the ceremonies and whatever. And then the blends. But I have to say that they're not for human consumption, what I sell, because the law makes me say that. So I have to say it. Merry Christmas, Bend, Oregon. I love your outfit. Thank you. <laughs> I love it too. It was a gift. My handler that set up my whole trip across Canada. Um, this was a gift from him. I wish I lived farther north so that I can meet and use this amazing mushroom. I want to learn all I can. Where are you in it? James, can I buy anything on the site that's usable? I don't understand the question. <laughs> Everything's usable that I sell. Hey, Robbie. Oh, wow. We got a lot of Finlandians here. Of course. Right. For scientific study purposes. Well, I, it's incense. And you burn it in your incense burner. You should watch the videos I have on it. Merry Christmas from Daytona Beach. Hey, Bill. South Central Ohio. I used to live in Deltona. And the land. That's my old stomping grounds. So I know Daytona I used to go there for the races, not to go to the race, but just to be around it, like feel the, the earth vibrate or whatever. But then I got sick of the crowds and the people. How many do I take on the solstice? I don't count them. I start about an hour before the ceremony. And I go straight through the ceremony for hours, just continuously using... Oh, hey, Anthony. Wow, we got almost 30 people in here. So what I wanted to um, tell you guys, I know that you, well, you have or you haven't watched the videos on the censorship front. And that seems to be like the big deal now. And I just let you all know, <clears throat> and I'm talking to a lot of people now, people that want to become vendors on my uh, Amanita Dreamer website. Especially for the painkiller that starts with a K, like I really want to get a good vendor for that. And don't put it in the comments either, because all of this is getting scanned by the censorship gods here. But that I really want to get a good vendor for that. And people constantly are messaging me saying they want to get an ad on my website or whatever. And the reason why I have so few is because I'm so picky, like I'm extremely picky. They go through a very strict vetting process, and most people don't make it through that process. I spend a lot of time actually doing that, knowing that it's 
going to be a waste of time because they're probably not going to make it. And then the ones that are there, I baby them. I take care of them. I make sure they're happy. I make sure everything is well and, and that they're okay. And, you know, I mean, it, it, we're all trying to network and help each other get the things that we need because of censorship. And one by one, each of them have had their payment providers taken away. So there's high risk now. People are considered high risk that sell things that all of these other people will not touch. And it's not that there's anything wrong with them or that they're high risk items. It's just they're items that the construct is trying to censor, right? So now that's, that's where we are now is I am setting up an automation to be able to take cryptocurrency and then uh, trying to find a, a high risk provider. But to do that, there's a lot of hoops I have to jump through. I have to have a business account at a bank. And to do that, I got to have a license. Like there's all this to do that. You got to do this and to do that. You got to do this. So I'm still in the process. Everything kind of stopped for the holidays. But next week, um, we'll start back working on it again. So that's in progress. But you need to know that all of the things that you're using that are not part of the construct, one by one, they're going to go offline trying to figure this whole thing out, how to pay, how to get payment providers and all of that. So let them know. Like if they're on Square or Stripe, like a lot of them still are, it's a matter of time before they're found out and they get kicked off. So I am i don't know which one I'm going to use yet. You can send them my way once I do get my store open and whichever one I'm going through, I'm going to have to pay a very high fee for it. Fuck yes, I am tenacious, Christine, because fuck this bullshit. This is my fucking body. It almost killed me, the drugs that are on the construct. Almost fucking killed me. And it's almost killing other people, too. And I mean, this is shit that comes right out of the ground. And we have a right to network about it. And it makes me feel like a criminal. And it makes me angry. The people that I have to approach to try to work with, like when I call the bank to set up a business account and I tell them that I'm going to be, quote, high risk. And they, you know, like, oh, no, I'm sorry. We don't touch that. You know, and I've been a member at this bank for a very long time. And then I, my web designer lady is a longtime friend of mine and she's going to be setting up my account. And, you know, she doesn't know about what I do. This is private, but I need to get her help to put this store together. So then I have to tell her what I'm doing. And we joke that she's now building a store for, you know, a drug user, a druggie, whatever. It, it's shaming. And I feel like I have to slink around in the underbelly, you know to do what I'm doing. Like it's all meant to shame you and, and, and marginalize you. And it's such bullshit when what I'm doing that right there is the most holy and beautiful and giving entity that's trying to teach us what we need to get back to who we really are, to use all of the senses that we actually really have to use that this construct has taken away from us. And I'm not a conspiracy theorist. I don't get into conspiracy theories. I do not. I won't. It's boring. It's stupid. It's useless. It's a waste of time. If you want to stay dumb and dark, get into conspiracy theories. It doesn't matter why. What matters is what we're dealing with and how we get around it or keep working forward and keep helping other people. That's what this is about, is raising the vibration of each one of us. Because we are here in the billions. And when we are here in the billions like never before, when we're moving positive energy, when we're using all of the senses that are available to us, we can tilt the scales in our favor. And when we're not suffering anymore, which is what we're supposed to be doing is not suffering, then we get to live to our highest ideals, which if all that is, is to sit around and embroider and cook and celebrate holidays, then that's what it is. If it's to write a book that changes the world, then that's what it is. It doesn't matter what you want to do. You have the right to live to your highest destiny using all of the senses that you have and all of the things that are available naturally to you that we have evolved with to be what we are. And I don't understand why we have to feel marginalized and shamed to do that work. The, the money it has cost me to make videos, to create a place for all of us to come together, to be able to have a store and to be able to sell those items. The cost to me 
is astronomical compared to people that are selling something that is inane, like toothpicks. Like, what if I made toothpicks and I'm selling those? Like, I can do it all for free on the construct. For free. And they take, you know, a tiny little fee or whatever. But because what I'm doing is so high risk, I got to pay out of pocket for a large bandwidth to host all these videos and the store and build it by myself instead of selling on Etsy and high risk fees for a payment provider. And now I got to go to like trying to still be very careful about what I call things. I can't advertise anywhere. Like it. <clears throat> All right. I'm going to get off my soapbox. I'm going to go back to celebrating Christmas. Anyway, if y'all want to help me out, become a patron because we have fun over there. Instead of just me talking to you and then reading over here, we all like can talk to each other. Okie dokie. Oh, it's probably Big Farms behind all this censorship. You know what? You say that, but I don't think it is. You made it, John. Hey, everything will get better. People just don't understand your passion and the beauty of these things and what they can help with. I know. And over time, they will. And when it's not just me saying it, when they start to see it all over the place, then, you know what I'm saying? It's not that I'm not trustworthy, but when only one person is saying it, it's like, eh, maybe she's a little nuts. But when everywhere you go on social media, you start to see that echoed, then you're more willing to actually try it and then raise your own vibration, you know? Uh, you so speak the truth. I know. I'm trying, Annette. Alaney, look, y'all keep saying pharma and all this stuff. Let me tell you, I'm trying to get caught up over here with y'all, but let me stop for a minute. I want to be careful. But now my emails that go through a very large corporation are getting censored. And I talk about this when I talk about my videos on the politics of these things about when all of this started and it started a long time ago when the um a certain branch of our government that has three letters in it that starts with a c gave google a lot of software to help found that company for their search engines and google earth and all that and not long after that they went and helped china build their search engine and then they came here and came back and bought bought youtube and they were the forefront forerunners of the self-driving cars and all technology. And they said that they weren't going to come here and they weren't going to censor. But after they worked with China helping to build their search engine, they came here and immediately started censoring. And that's been like a decade ago. And the censorship has just gotten worse. And everything that they own and that Apple owns, like their stores for apps and stuff. The only reason I'm having a hard time the only reason you can't sell any of this stuff on eBay and Etsy and all that, and you can't pay with PayPal or Venmo or Square or Stripe and all that is because there's a rule that Google put in place and then Apple followed them that you can't sell any app in their store that deals in any of these things. So if you have an app, you can't put your app on the store and that'll kill your company. So you get rid of those things so that you can stay in the store. Do you see what I'm saying? There's things much bigger going on here than just a pharmaceutical company. And let me tell you, those things, those companies, they have plenty of other ways to make money. They're not just in pharmaceuticals. And a lot of the pharmaceuticals that these natural things like that and the one that starts with a K, those pharmaceuticals, they're trying to get their hands off of because there's so many lawsuits now. So they don't give a shit about this or the one that starts with a K. They're not the ones censoring it. They're not the ones lobbying Congress to make the one with a K illegal. Y'all really need to, to research. Don't go for the low hanging fruit. If you want to really know what's going on, follow trails and read. I don't know that this is what's happening. I don't know what's happening. I don't know what the conspiracy is, but I can tell you that pharma is a small player in it. Um, did, um, let's see, Fred, uh, Fred, recovering paraplegic here. And I take lion's mane and still slide home to some cord. Do you know, and help? Um, I can't do that. That's practicing medicine without a license. 
But I can tell you that that right there deals in the nervous system directly. And the two sides of it, ibotenic acid and muscimol, they are the balancer. You, could, you should watch my videos about this, you know, and the two sides of it. And if it's something that you want to um, use, then you can either get what I have or you can just go buy it just that itself. You know what I mean? Glad I found you today. Oh, okay, cool. Today, huh? Christmas Day. Merry Christmas then. <laughs> Let's see. Um, oops, I scrolled too far. Rod, pharmaceutical companies competition. This is why they're illegal and prosecuted because they left. Um, I already addressed that. Uh, Christine, we're given everything we need on this beautiful planet, right? Rod, it's not that I'm disagreeing with you. It's just that Well, I said what I said. I just have a different opinion. I did used to agree with you, but things have changed, I think, in my opinion. You're definitely not making a quick buck. <laughs> no, I'm not. <laughs> oh, Eleni, be positive. It's not worth stressing. Yeah, I'm not stressed. I'm passionate. I try not to cry. I get so passionate about it. That is so bullshit. I know, right, Annette? Solar hydrogen. Merry Christmas. If you can get a hold of me, I signed up for your newsletter under the name Kudos for You. Make if private, I may be able to help. Oh, you're talking to Peter. Need to get them dry, John. Yeah, I have vendors on my website that are fully vetted that I'll ba that I back. You know that I'll I'll stand behind. Bradley. Oh, thank you, Bradley. Y'all are so sweet, Nathan. Oh, happy Christmas. Nathan, I told you, right? Didn't I write you back and tell you that when I was pregnant, if it was going to be a boy, I was going to name him Nathan? Yeah, I know about Proton. Um, it's just that everything has already been done in this other email. Like, But I mean, I, I may need one. I have six freaking emails right now, man. Sensory pills to be harder in U.S. than in Europe. It depends. I know like in Europe, like 10 years ago, they were already putting laws in place to limit sales, legally limit sales, not just like social media censorship, but legal, legal stuff to limit sales of natural medicines. I heard that. Am I wrong about that? But the censorship is worldwide. Like these are platforms, social media platforms that are worldwide, but the companies are founded here in the U S that's, Freya. Freya. Hey, baby. Do you have any idea, anecdotes, some particular medications that may be interfering with the effects of tea made with particular? All I can tell you is that um, this and alcohol are definite no. And obviously the benzodiazepines, like, that and them, that's stacking. Like, don't, don't, don't do that. Con E, you're so full of info. Eh, I'm nerdy like that. That's my idea of a good time is to read and research. Uh, I don't get invited back to parties. I'm the party stopper. <laughs> Um, I, uh, getting a biology degree to get a mycology degree specialization one day, the truth of nature will be shown. Let us keep pushing forward. See, that's what I think too. I think too. Yeah, Nathan, I may need to take you out because they censor the chat too. My apologies. I'm going to remove that. Sorry. Ugh, I don't want to do that. Sorry. Hey, truth. They've been trying to ban K here for a while. That's why I stocked up. Are you in the States? I mean, they try what every three to six months they they try. And for some reason, they haven't been able to make that illegal yet. You can sell NFTs. I have NFTs. They're not on my phone. They're on my they're on my iPad. I've got um, six NFTs. I'm going to wait until I have probably 20 and then I'll list them. Send the mushrooms as a gift for buying your art. I don't need to do that, Tyler. I'm building my store. Like, it's already built. I've already spent the money on it. I'm down to the point now where um, 
I just need to find a high risk payment provider and we'll do that in January. So I don't have to play any games now. I, I can be me just like I can do what I want on my website, say what I want on my videos because I'm paying to host that website. That's mine. But I am still making NFTs. They're really beautiful too. I like them. It's such a treat to get a live stream. Oh, Annette. Yeah, right. I'll second that, Tyler. Yeah, what an amazing medicine. It is incredible, right, my child? Hey, Conscious Evolution. Peace, love, and unity to you, too. Welcome. Modern solutions for modern problems. <laughs> but it's not illegal to sell soap ingredients. That's how K okay is sold over the net. I guess. That sucks, though, that you have to do that. Like, it's not illegal to sell any of this stuff here. It's all legal. It's just censored. Hey, Selena. Hey, Connie. Yeah, Kitty. Kitties. There's both of them now. Look. Oh, Nathan, you're fine. I mean, y'all don't know what I know, like, for on censorship and stuff. Saw you moved to Canada. I didn't. I still live in the Southeast. I went there for two weeks. I had a series of interviews and stuff for work, you know. So it was like this whole tour of Canada from, um, well, I landed in Toronto and then I went to Calgary and that's where it all started. The work started in Calgary and it was just by car making stops all the way out to Victoria Island. But I really want to move there now. Like I have like a two year plan to move there. The laws are less restrictive. That would be why I want to move there. I'm going to get to the Pacific Northwest, but then I'm going to work on trying to get into Canada. It's really hard to become a citizen. You were the high school hottie, weren't you? I didn't feel like it. I'm autistic. So I was, I was the weird one, you know, I mean, there were other autistic people. We just weren't diagnosed, but whatever I was visually, I didn't get talked to much. I spent a lot of time alone because I'm just weird because I'm autistic. So I didn't fit in. Hey, Art, welcome. Annette, I love to read and research too. I love your kitty, Freya. Freya's such a sweetie. She's so loving. It's really crazy. She's very giving. She cares. Like I feed a possum and a couple of raccoons and a couple of stray cats out on my back deck. If I forget to put food out, she will come scream at me and take me to the back door and then walk me to the food and watch me put it out there. And then she's fine. And sometimes I'll forget and I won't know what she's raising hell about. If any of our cats are upset about anything, if they're fighting, she comes and gets me or she goes and breaks the fight up and then licks both of them to like try to calm them. She's very, very um, mothering, very giving. Uh, let's see. Uh, Juga, thanks for the response. That really helps. Oh, good. Cool. Feeling lucky to be able to ask you. Yeah, thanks to you. And I had the most exciting mushroom project this autumn oh that's cool yay i know what you mean got a shipment from minnesota botanicals oh cool another coming from russia yes found a grove to harvest next fall excellent 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 my uh wow that sounds fantastic i want to go to canada one day canada's freaking beautiful when will it get to the point to have to buy with bitcoin i'm gonna make it available to buy with Bitcoin. I'm automating the process right now. I'm looking at two different automators that I can plug in to the website so that you can pay with Bitcoin, especially people that don't have a bank and don't have a credit card. Like I can't take PayPal or Venmo. So if you don't have a credit card, you're going to have to use. It's really going to hurt my sales. Like it's really going to hurt my sales. It's going to be bad. People are going to be complaining that they can't buy anything. That's why I've tried to make a lot of videos explaining all this to people, but it is what it is. We're, we're at that point now, Butler. John Rice, I'm autistic. That's why I click with you. Oh, yeah. I bet you were the hot librarians. <laughs> you know what? Let me tell you about libraries. When I was a kid in elementary school, I couldn't wait to go to school. I was that nerd that wanted to go to school. And in school... I would finish my work really fast and then run to the teacher and ask for a pass to the library. And then the librarians knew me and I would wipe out like all their books on any one thing and then move on to something else. And I would beg them for more books. So they would have to do interlibrary loans to get me more books 
And by half the year, I had wiped out all the books that I wanted to know anything about in the library. And I would just be really bored and frustrated about it. But that was where I hung out was in the library. Oh, shit. Did you know you were autistic before you were diagnosed? Yeah, I think I am. Um, yeah, yeah. It was, I did and I didn't. It was one of those things that I knew something was wrong with me, but I thought, but then when you look at all the different traits of it, I'm like, but I thought everybody did that. I thought everybody did that. I thought everybody did that just didn't talk about it. And then once she told me, I'm like, no, nah, you don't understand. I'm not, I'm outgoing. I'm this, I'm that. She's like, no, that's only, there are autistic people like you. They're called sensory seeking autistic people. And then once she showed me the the diagnostics for sensory seeking autistic people that aren't as shy or quiet or reserved, then I knew. Then then I knew beyond a shadow of a doubt. I knew. I have mm, laying on my shelf. I haven't had the balls for a trip. Well, uh, Mikkel, why don't you start small and microdose? Because this is the kind of thing that once you get it in your body, it will speak to you and it'll let you know when it's time. That's why you're afraid is because you. You don't know yet. And when you know it's time, you won't be afraid anymore. Christine, a lot of us autistic people here. I can't recommend a dose, Mikkel. There's a law in the United States called practicing medicine without a license. And I could go to prison for it. The cat is awesome. She is. She really is. She's amazing. This one, though, she's a big scaredy. She's afraid of her shadow. She's afraid of everything. She's afraid to walk into a room, even if it's a room she's been in before. And so I treat her with, with that and it helps her a lot. Yeah. She is a peacemaker kitty. Freya's amazing. Uh, let's see. Andrea. Hey, Andrea Dreamer. Hello there. So happy to see you here. Yay. I'm so glad you're here. Hey, Janet Planet. Oh my God. The truth. Yeah. Credit card. I can take credit cards with my high risk. Um, payment providers. John Rice, I heard your interviews. You're on the right track about censorship. Got it figured out mostly. I wish I didn't. The why is what I don't like. What's the motivation? Something's there's, I mean, you know, whatever. Books are life, right, Christine? Have you ever gotten lost in the woods while foraging? Yeah, a lot. But you got to learn how to read the land and you can, you're never really lost. You're just sort of displaced. But if you know how to read the land, so like the, the woods that I'm mostly in most of the time, they, there's a, a, a stream, like a brook. And so the land drops downward towards it. So no matter where I am, I know where the pines are and where the ash trees are. And I know where that line is. And I know how the water flows when it rains. And so Wherever I am, all I have to do is look at the ground and where where I know water flows and follow that back down to the creek. And once I'm down to the creek, I know which way to follow to get back. Eventually, somewhere in there, I, I wind up knowing where I am because there's trees that I know that have unique things on them, you know. But before I figured all that out, I got lost every day. Ah, Julia Noel. Thank you. Marty, hey. Any info on some and how it compares? I'm not done that. I'm, I'm not really excited to do it either, honestly. I haven't heard anything good about it, but then people say that about that. So, art matters. I'm asked to like diagnose 45, 56, don't get easy or love your channel. All oh, from Scotland. Yay. I think it's legal. In Scotland, right? Even though the whole UK, it's illegal. I think it's legal in Scotland. John Rice, I was an eager reader. I wanted more advanced books than they had at school. Yeah, typical, right? <laughs> Merry Christmas to everyone. Andrea. Robbie, speaking of books, have you read Merlin Sheldrake's Entangled Life? Just received, uh -uh. I hear a lot of people talk about Sheldrake. Uh, conscious. We had a main library in our downtown. I was the only punk rock metal looking kid that was a library nerd. Loved that place it's information is life. Like I don't understand people that want to talk about mundane, boring, useless things. If you're going to converse, it should be about interesting things. Mikhail, thank you. I'm a psychonaut, but 
that is something else. Yes, it is. It is. And you and and you're right to go slow and to be afraid and all that. You don't have to be afraid. Go slow. But that makes me happy that you're trying to be careful, you know. Janet, love the library and the Dewey Decimal System. Right? It makes so much sense. <laughs> Uh, the gala receptor is something I have respect for messing with. Exactly. But the cool thing about this is that it doesn't mess with. It's an adaptogen that will help balance. And if there's wisdom in this, um, an amazing amount of wisdom in it. This is Christmas. Can we talk about Christmas theory? You don't want to hear what I have to say about that. I'm a real downer. Oh, wait, I skipped somebody. Oh, uh, Annette. Thank you. I love them, too. Jennifer, microdose before I sleep with no problems. Yeah, cool, cool, good, good. Fellow plant user told him to combine devils. Clinton, haven't heard of that. Says it's Christmas. Talk about the theory. Okay, give me just a second because I'm. It's going to be a conversation killer. Been a while. Hope you're doing well. Yeah, I know, Marty. It has been a while. I need to find where they grow in East Texas. I have a video on where to look for them. And in the description of that video, I have a long list all over the world of everywhere to look all over the world, what trees that they grow with. Hey, Joshua. Oh, my God. Uh, Joshua came to our solstice ceremony. Couldn't get it to connect. Yeah, I don't know why. Merry Christmas to you, too, man. Nathan, been using the incense blend. Going to start working out liquids. Find the day. Yep. Already my spells have reduced. Sleep has improved. Oh, Nate, that's so great. That's so great. That's so great. Robbie, thank you. Merry Christmas, D. Andrea, art matters. I'm on the borders. Nice to meet. Oh, oh. Uh -huh. Just a question. Are you still planning to test 3H method? 3H method. What is that? Curious to see tests because Kevin occasionally talks about it. I don't know what three H is. Are you saying that because of censorship? Hey, Dreamer, thanks for info. Smoke with Mullen, Micro T, not bad. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Vitriol, Earth, Merry Christmas. Thank you. Thanks for the mushies. Just not today, Maya, huh? Natalia, oh my God. Natalia. It stays, Natalia made this. Y'all. Look at the spores. Look at the spores. Oh, my God. So amazing. It's so great. And Stephanie and Chip were supposed to be here. They sent me this. All right. Let's talk about the Christmas thing. I'm going to piss people off. Look. The... All of the indigenous people in the north have suffered the same fates that ind indigenous peoples all over the world have. And the invasion of white people into their culture, whitewashing their stories, taking away their stories, their costumes, their customs, their medicines, Stealing it, whitewashing it, rearranging it, making it their own, and then passing it on. And the whole thing with Santa, it's not necessarily because of this. It goes all the way back to Thor, to the gods. And then the Norse culture of the gods mixed with the Koryak and the people in all of the northern indigenous cultures, because they use this and it's also red and white, because they live very closely with reindeer, because this is a very important medicine to their culture, and because they're in the north, there's this blending of the two the handing down of the stories of, of, of the Norse gods, right? That, that spread all over Europe. But in the 70s, when it, it was popularized, the stories of the Sami and the Koryak people and their cultures, let me tell you, first of all, they went in there and these were people that were very private people. They had already suffered a lot 
from their governments, from Finland and Denmark and Sweden and Russia. And they had already been marginalized to very small areas and their entire way of life threatened. When they were interviewed and videoed or whatever, and then made public, their stories made public about the Sami and how they live with the reindeer and their culture and all of the things that they do that are very sacred. It, it's not a story. Th these are people's lives. These are, these are their ancestors. These are their cultures. Th these are their lives. This is how they live. It's not a story. And it has been threatened because their story got told and then people sensationalized it, stripped it down. It was, again, whitewashed by the people who wrote what they did and how they lived. But it was stolen then and written about and given like sound bites in our culture. And then just stripped down to these silly platitude, childish, cartoonish ideas of, oh, they drink reindeer piss and get high. <laughs> It's disgusting. And to say that the modern Christmas has anything to do with those cultures is ridiculous. Those cultures did not celebrate a Christian anything. And if they celebrate solstice, they have shaman, but they all use the mushroom. And there, there is zero connection to shamanism and Christmas, none. And there's no connection to Santa and this. Because there are traditions of a wise man, shaman, bringing gifts or whatever, old man winter and Thor and all of the stories of all, all of the stories are the same trope of the idea of a man traveling and bringing gifts, paying attention, making sure you've been good. Um, that, that whole thing is a trope that has spread out through all cultures. And, and if you go to YouTube and watch Confessions of a Hierophant, I'm going to write it in here. Go watch that. There's only a few stories, virgin births and, you know, the death of the sun and the rising of the sun. And it's all about celestial events because that's all that all of these cultures have ever had in common all over the world is celestial events. But these stories of being good and making sure that you're good and that you're being watched over to make sure you're good or whatever, you know, it's simple. It's easy to continue to repeat. But all of these men shaman weren't wearing fucking bright red clothing they wore leather from the animals that they lived closely with like they they didn't wear bright red so when you start talking about bright red that starts to come in with commercial commercialism and coca-cola and i have this whole history laid out in a video and there's no connection you'll see there's no connection this happened and then this happened and then this happened, but they're not connected. They just human beings forcefully connected them. And once Coca-Cola made their version of this man wear red and white, it was commercialism. It, it was corporatization of a story as old as time in just about every indigenous culture. Just because this is red and white, doesn't mean that the two have anything to do with each other because they never did and they never have and they don't. Also, this doesn't fruit on the solstice. It's finished fruiting. The only place this fruits is in California in December. Also, have you ever tried to put these on a, on a fir tree, any kind of pine tree? They're heavy and they fall to the ground. You ever tried to dry these outside when it's cold? They don't. You ever tried to dry them outside when it's snowing and raining? They don't. That they didn't dry these on the trees. It is so much. Okay. I'm going to calm down now. Anyway, all of this is stealing stories from cultures and being whitewashed by white men or corporations.
and there's no connection to any of it. Okay, now that I've made everybody mad. All right, Gladys, did you tell me what 3H is? Yes, 3H, boiling in, oh, three hour, 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 gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, Kevin and I have talked about the three-hour boil. Not a fan. You lose about half of your active ingredients that way. You will convert what you have left, but you'll lose half of your active ingredients. But no, I haven't had time to do a video because I keep getting censored and having to stop what I'm doing and rebuild. <laughs> okay, let's see. Where are we? Yeah, Tyler. Okay, got it. Uh, John, going to apologize in advance for when my water damaged phone inevitably types <laughs> letters in chat. Thanks for the heads up. Oh, God, that's hilarious. Gladys, yep, yeah, got that. You could never piss me off. The truth does hurt, though. All right, thank you for all your work. Three hour boil, got it. This story needs to be told more. Yeah, I wish that. More people would honor indigenous cultures because every single indigenous culture across the planet has been colonized. And I'm so sick of it. I want to know the real stories. They mean so much more than our versions. All right. Do you think the Soma could be made of reindeer milk? Well, yeah. I mean, that's where, well, no, because Soma comes from the Rig Veda, which comes from India, and they worship the cow. But... It's not a stretch that just about every indigenous culture that lives closely with mammals whose milk they use and drink, that they would wind up putting this in that. So, of course, it could be reindeer milk and cow's milk and lamb's milk and goat's milk. If it's got um, lactobacillus bacteria in it, it'll work. Teaching, not storytelling, is appreciated by me. Cool. Correction, this needs to be, yep. Uh, so true, the truth will not be hiding. I hope not, Art. I'm not from Florida. I lived there for a little while. I got sick of it. Three years and I couldn't hang anymore, man. I had to go. <laughs> Fantastic amounts of actual info. Love learning. I do too, Christine. Preach, <laughs> Marty. Right, man, I get so freaking emotional about it. Coke plays for the, well... They're based here in Atlanta, too. Truth bomb. I'm looking for it is in your, from what I know, those grow all over the world, but I don't know about Atlantis. I don't know anything about it. In the forum a couple years ago, I translated the Amanita story from Canadian indigenous people, nothing to do with our Santa, right? I need to go back and look for that. What about a connection between entheogens and the mystery cults, Roman and Greek philosopher? No, honestly, Janet, I mean, and I'm just, this is bullshit and I'm talking out of my ass because I'm not a historian, but I believe that all cults and religions have a foundation in entheogen, entheogenic use, entheogenic worship. But modern religion does not. Like it's, there's no connection there either. And modern religion is too hateful, disgusting, and dark to have come from something that life-giving and life-affirming, you know what I mean? But the older cults and older worships and the older practices, it wouldn't surprise me if they were all in entheogenic, you know what I mean? Could you please share how to celebrate so solstice correctly, uh, Natalia? There's no correct way. It's just um, what the mushroom want us to do is celebrate. They just want us to get together. And traditionally, before we had electricity, it would have made a lot more sense because clearly nighttime, you can't see, work doesn't get done. You're more prone to being attacked by an enemy or by an animal. And as the days get shorter and the nights get longer leading up to solstice, I mean, it's a little more anxiety inducing, which this helps with. So this is used a lot more. 
because it, it's fruits in the fall, which is about when you start losing more daylight. So this gets you through that. And then once you finally get to the longest night of the year, which is solstice, then you're saying, may the light return. And then you're looking forward to the light returning. And the way that we have always celebrated it was with drums and with this and talking to the ancestors and the elders. And I'm going to make a whole video on it because this is, this is something that I could talk about for hours because it's the most important thing that the mushrooms want us to know. The mushroom voice is, this is the agenda that they're pushing because they miss us. They miss this celebration. They know that the lack of that celebration is what's attributing to our mental illness. And I'm trying to bring that back, not just the celebration of solstice, but drums, the coming together of humans and this. And I, I look forward to a day where that is normal again, where it's happening everywhere. One of my goals is to buy land and build a very large place where we can do this and people can come from all over. But then the goal is for them to then leave and go do this in their own communities. You know what I mean? And after this solstice celebration that we just had, the next one is going to be in Canada and it's going to be at a very, very old site that I visited when I was in Canada and I met the mushroom there and they told me you're going to have to do the summer solstice here. So I'm going to be pulling from patrons first for that. And we're putting a team together. We're going to be videoing it and making a small documentary about it. And it's going to be really expensive. So I'm going to need a lot of help financially to, to put it together. That A lot of equipment's going to have to get flown there. A lot of people are getting flown there. It's going to be, it's going to be beautiful and important. The mushroom wants this to be made to get the word out about what it is we're supposed to be doing and why and how important it is. So it's, it's a very old ceremonial site, one of the oldest in the world. It has been hundreds of years since something of this magnitude has happened at this site. And I will do it as often as I can. I don't know how feasible that's going to be. But shortly, the landscape is going to be permanently altered. And I can't really talk about that too much right now. So this may be the last time that it will be on video looking the way that it looks, the way it has always looked for thousands and thousands of years. And it has been a very long time since a lot of people have gathered there, done this, played drums, and had a full-on ceremony, especially on a solstice. And it will be one for the books for sure. And the land will echo with it. Again, like it hasn't for a very long time, and it's going to be the most incredible and beautiful thing. It's already so overwhelming just to be there sober that I can't imagine being there with people and this on the solstice and drums. I think that I might explode. So, um, yeah, but I'll be pulling from patrons to do that. We'll have maybe room for 10 people, whatever, to go. Um, wow, y'all are saying a lot. I've heard the opinion of room temperature. No, Ibo to Muscomol conversion occurs when put in raw milk. No, it's only at room temperature. If it's not at room temperature, the, it all fails. I've, I've experimented on it at all the temperatures, and the only one that works is at room temperature. Fly Garrett gets its name from mixing with milk. Yeah, it doesn't really kill flies. It stuns them, you know, and then they probably drown. Greets from Switzerland. Yay! When you say indigenous, what do you mean? People that are original cultures to an area that have lived there for thousands of years carry on those same traditions. Why do you blame white men when Egyptians, Portuguese, and Mongolians conquered? Yeah, they were the original, like, spread and conquer. But modern, for the last 3,000 years, it's been 
white men. There's plenty of blame to go around. Humans have been pretty shitty overall, honestly. I'm hoping... It's my hope that with every generation, we get better to each other. There have been cultures of people that have been amazingly good to each other and lived with the land and didn't hurt other people. But then there have been cultures of humans that have just been unbelievably shitty. And it seems like the shittiness has gotten so much worse in the last, what, two, 3,000 years. And my hope is that we return back to in the use of entheogens to remember our birthright and our divinity. Oh, no, I'm late. Doesn't matter. We're, we're all here, Sansi. Rod, Michael Harner's book, Lucingens and Shamanism, talks about how most indigenous cultures use these plant helpers, Right. Let's see. Mom has severe case of treatment-resistant OCD, has lost all her hope for healing. She finds the enemy to be appealing. I wish there were more trained professionals to guide, right? That's my hope too, Malika, is that with the science behind it and with the FDA approving it for human consumption, that that will pave the way. And I'm trying to develop a program for practitioners to certify practitioners to use it in their practice. That's, yeah, like, yeah. Exactly. Melanie, hey, I'm wondering about using dried powder to make tea. No, no. I don't know why so many people are buying the powder. If you make it with powder, it's going to go bad really fast. If that's all you have, maybe you can try to sell it to someone else. Smoke it. If you're going to make the tea for microdosing with the powder, Yeah, I have videos about that on my website. And yeah, I have to be really careful what I say here. It's going to go bad really fast because you can't get all of that out, filtered out of it. You would have to freeze almost all of it and only leave out what you can use in a couple of days time. Ethereal radar, you caught the live. Yes, you did. Yay. Uh, Rod, I'm in Canada, Pacific Northwest. Oh, I know it does. I know this. Selena, yay to summer solstice in Canada, right? Graham, do you have a ritual when you pick them? I'm thinking of Don Juan only letting Carlos. No, um, you can see me forage. It, it's not a ritual at all. It's me freaking out because they're having conversations with me and me with them. So, but you can go to my website, amityadreamer.net, and go to foraging, my foraging videos, and watch me act a fool. Dreamer, if I'm allowed into Canada, I'll be there with bells on. Aw, that would be great. Can't wait to hear this upcoming video so I can take part in bringing back this type of celebration. Yeah, yeah, I need to make it. I'm just, it's so overwhelming to talk about because there's so much love and energy behind it that it's almost hard to harness it and speak what they want me to it's like trying to explain a trip to somebody you know yeah pop it's going to be an amazing experience christine want to attend such a celebration but to know that it's happening makes me hopeful yep well i mean it's not till june if you want to save up white men were just the latest <laughs> trying to trying to Find land myself in Colorado camp on a few months. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Let's see. Andrea, true dreamer, I'm full of hope. Yep. Tyler, in your vision, what would this world living with nature look like? <laughs> Not like it does now. There, leadership would only be at the local level and there would be very little government. And a lot of freedom for people to be themselves with no agenda for any neurotype or body type or role that any one person has to play or rules about what they want to do to their bodies or who they want to sleep with or what they want to eat or where they want to live or how they want to live their lives or whether we want to get married or not get married or have children or not have children. Whether they want to, whatever thing, role in society they want to perform, whatever they want to put in their bodies, like just that's, that's, that's what I want to see. Like, seems so obvious. 
Seems so simple. Hey, Jared. First is the world. First time in a stream. Yeah, just write what you want and then I'll try to get to you. How do you know a batch has gone bad in the fridge? It'll smell so bad, you'll know. It'll smell so bad that it'll make you want to vomit. <laughs> what you'll know. If, it, if you don't know, then it's not bad. <laughs> Hello from Ohio. Hey, Jeannie. Melanie, well, shit, freezing is no issue. Yeah, I just need to know what to do with it at this point to be able to use it at all. I don't want to, right. Oh, you're in North Georgia? Where, Melanie? Go watch my videos to know how to. I have to go take Jasper for last tree. Okay. Bye, Andrea. Thanks for hanging. Oh, thank you, Maya. I'm trying. Have to go to sleep now. Okay, Thomas, thanks for hanging out with us. I know it's late in January. Oh, cool. Yeah, I'll see you there on Patreon. Thank you. Before you're in Canada, you picked so close to the road, right? I'd be afraid. I have a video about that, Gladys. I go into detail about that, about heavy metals. How do you stop the cycle of conquering colonization of governance is only at the local level? Where do you think? the organizing of the conquering and colonization happens. It happens at the national level, at the large level, with the, all that money, all that power. Also, also, Tyler, if we're living in a state of autonomy like that and the use of entheogens, then tribes or groups that want to invade others are going to be the odd ones out and will be shunned and taken care of by the others in the vicinity and in the area wondering why are you acting like this if the bulk of the people are not mentally ill mental illness will be protected and helped and but if they are egregious it would be put out you know what i'm saying it's a world that we don't have any relationship to or any form or way to understand when the whole world is using entheogens because it wasn't written about that. That's not in our stories or in our books, but that is, that is the living naturally using entheogens from a very young age regularly. It, it gets rid of a lot of that mental illness that would make someone want to colonize conquer. John, I'm a bit of an anarchist. Well, I would have to say that I am one of those now only because of the construct that exists currently. But if I was anything, I'm a voluntarist. Currently building a nice little sanctuary on my property to gather. Oh, man, that would be really great. Look forward to watching all your videos. I have some of our drum videos there, too. Oh, Blairsville. Okay. Yeah, Melanie, I know where Blairsville is. You're not far from me. Dove's eye, I make vinegar. It lasts on the shelf forever. Yeah, there's a thread on the forum. Let me drop the link. Oops, I butchered that. So I founded a forum right when I started my channel and I realized people needed a place to talk. And there's a thread there about fermentation and vinegars. And I'm going to do a video on it too. So I just dropped the link there in the chat. A few days ago, you smoked a lot, had no effect. Natalia, people that use the green... Five leafed plant won't get anything from it. That's the only thing. And if you don't use that, then you didn't use enough. It also it doesn't happen immediately like the five green leaf plant does. It takes 20 to 30 minutes for it to happen. So you've got to do a lot and then you got to be patient and then do a lot and then be patient. And, and it, and it's a very, very subtle, slow. And then the next thing, you know, you're talking to the elders and ancestors. Like it doesn't, it is completely different. Does anyone have an effective temp recommended for the sweet dreams? Yeah, I have a, 
a that wooden night flight vaporizer and it doesn't have a temperature reading on it. So if anyone can help her, I'd appreciate it. Wish you could see my harvest in Poland. Aw, uh, y'all in Poland, y'all, it's crazy there. Y'all have so much there. It's crazy. And I like a lot of the science that's coming out of Poland. My favorite, one of my favorite scientists in this field, uh, Ava Maciejczyk is Polish. And I'm trying to get an interview with her. Oh, my God. Like, that would be, I would fangirl out if I could get her. Jared, I take, it saved my life. Not that I was, but I wasn't alive. I know what you mean. And that's the truth for a lot of people. I did eight and a half grams on camera. It's on my website. I need to do that again. I'm probably going to go to a decriminalized area and do another ceremony. Tyler, appreciate your answer question. Oh, sure. I mean, it's just my fucking opinion. Like, I'm, it's not like I matter, but it's just my opinion. Do you like the yellows, gasowies? Um, Never had them. Can't answer because I don't know. Appreciative of the attention you give everyone. Well, I mean, that's why we're here, <laughs> Christine. <laughs> what else would I be doing? <laughs> This is the fun part. This is why I'm here. Hang out with y'all. Had a dream the other night that I found growing near me while on a hike. It was beautiful. Everybody dreams about these too. Isn't it crazy? Melanie Wright would love to meet you sometime. Your cat and my horse. Oh, Freya. Yeah, it's a cool name. Nathan, how are the Panthers? They're four, five, eight times stronger. There are a couple of different components to them. I think they're higher in um, muscarine. But yeah, they're really, really strong. John, you're so articulate. I'm jealous. <laughs> I understand you, but struggle to get the right words out. Well, that's because I'm well rested. <laughs> when I get tired of the words, just everything is and I, like the word will circle in my head, but it won't land. And then I'm like, all right, we're done here. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, interested to hear that. Yeah, Butler. Yeah. Glad he's, I smoked them with my mates. None of them felt anything. I actually had an intense experience for an hour. Yeah, that's the only common thing that I find in people that don't get anything is they rather enjoy the green five leafed plant. I use the five leaf and, and definitely getting effects. Well, you're the odd one out there, Nathan. That's pretty cool, though. Good for you. What was the name of the expert you cited about what? Ava Maciejczyk, the Polish, she, what the research she's doing is the constituents of Amanita muscaria. She's been researching all of the components of Amanita for a very long time, and she's always finding new stuff. Um, I can't spell her name because I'm not Polish, and that language is so foreign from mine. Um, let me type her name out for you. Let me get it out of the book. If that's who you're talking about, E-V-A is her first name. And it's pronounced Ewa, um, M-A-C-I-E-C-Y-K. I think that's right. There you go. Ava Maciejczyk. Yeah, Robbie, they are powerful. And a couple of people have expressed that this year they're more powerful than most years and are telling people be careful. I even had the my Russian suppliers reach out to me and say, look, you need to tell people to be careful. Doing ceremony tonight with 10 of. Oh, cool. Uh, I haven't done that, Rod. I don't know. I've done very little because I've been so full of panic and anxiety my whole life trying to treat that and just living like under the thumb of that for so long, I wasn't free to do anything, had awful reactions to anything I ever tried. The green five leaf, like I can't even touch that. So I'm new to this world. I've only been in this world for three years. Amanita got me into the world. And then I did um, that eight and a half grams of psilocybin. And then like I'm next, next up is going to be the Aya ceremony. And I'm either going to do that with, Adeptus Psychonautica, and we're going to go somewhere in South America, 
or I'm going to go to a ceremony up in Washington state at a church there, a, a legal, like not legal, but they've made themselves a church so that they can do those ceremonies. Whatever. So I'm sorry. I can't answer that. Oh, bye Maya. What is a nice big Amanita worth? They're just usually like a dollar a gram ish. Oh, the book. <clears throat> Kevin Feeney wrote this, The Fly Garrick, a compendium. I got the, and I, I've got a whole video on it and discussing it. And he just released a hardcover, which I bought, and he signed it for me. Part one is mushroom hunting and ID. Part two is religion, culture, and folklore. Part three is archaeological evidence. Part five, diet and cuisine. I mean, four, diet and cuisine. Part five, pharmacology and physiological effects. And then like tons of chapters underneath all of it. it. It's very thorough. His book is what I hope my channel to be, which it's split between YouTube and, and my website, depending on censorship. But the, like, if you want to know anything about Amanita, this is... And Kevin's a great guy. And he's been doing interviews and stuff, too. Google his name and see what you can find if you want to see him. He's a great guy. I feel like I missed somebody. The mix of the two, Dan McKenna. We have a video of um, two guys that were trying to get off the green one and using Amity to do it. And one of them talks about stacking the, the green in this. And, and they... Everyone that stacks it has, says the same thing, that it's a good mix. It's weird. If you use the green and then you come into this and try to use it, most people don't get anything. If you don't use the green and you use this and you stack them, people say it's a really great experience. I got nothing but Merry Christmas. It's certainly only a time of year. <laughs> Thanks, Doug. Thank you. I'm not Polish either. Thank you for the spelling. You are welcome, Zen. It would be A O M H or A O M A. I wrote it. That your your last name looks longer than what I wrote. Did I make a mistake? You wrote M A C I E J C M A C I E C Y K. Yeah, it's a little different. No, she's M A C I E J C Z Y K. What you said is right. So I'm going to redo it. What Gladdy wrote is, is correct. I don't know why I wrote what I did. Copy, paste. Okay, now I'm, I'm putting it back in again in the chat so we get her name right. Thank you for that, Gladdy. Okay. Would you ever try the toad? No, Tyler. It's disgusting what they do to those animals. It's awful and horrible and disgusting. And I will never, never, never do that. I would do the synthetic version, but I won't ever, I won't ever be part of torturing an animal like that for a human being. To, no. Um, there's life before and life after except mine look a little different. Mine do too. I don't know if there was life before, honestly. Finally, I've arrived. So sorry. Christmas dinner went audio. Oh, oh my God, Tron. When are you going to become a patron, man, so we can hang out on Zoom? Audio's freaking been around for a year. Look, 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 look. I told you I've got it. It stays right here with me. I got to get the other one framed too. Anyway, I'm glad you're here, Audio. Great channel. Thanks, Rio. We try around here. <laughs> Is it normal that I dream more? Oh, yeah. Even after not having any. Oh, yeah. It's a nice side effect. I know. Like I went on another microdosing protocol. It's been two weeks. And then I 
smoked it for solstice. That was over a week ago. And I had one of the most profound dreams last night that I've had in a long time. Art matters, fam. Do your research for real. The future has your input. Needs our input. Research about what? Catherine, I just found you recently. Hi, Catherine. I watched your video on first experience. You talk about having a sitter. Do you recommend having one? Where do I get? I would only because if you take too much, someone will be there to help get you some medical care. But honestly, for like helping you, by the time you get in a bad place mentally, you're so gone and checked out, you, you may not be able to ask for help. And if you're not checked out and gone and can talk, you're usually not in a bad place. People that get in a bad spot with this do so because they've taken so much that also renders them unable to ask for help. And you have to just ride it out. But I mean, you definitely I don't I don't need one anymore. Cause I know, you know, I'm not afraid and I know what I'm doing, but I wouldn't just go leaping off the, the deep end into some unknown area without one around. Like every time I experiment with something new, I make sure I've got someone around that knows what I'm doing. Where do I get, um, you, I have trusted vendors that I have fully vetted on my website, amnitadreamer.net. I'll put it in chat. They are fully vetted. I trust them and I'll stand behind them. Rio. Yeah. January. Uh, go to mushroomvoice.com. There's a little countdown counter there. But yeah, that's the goal. January 14th. Brian, do you have any idea how long it takes to stop using the five leaf? Four to six weeks. That's what I'm hearing. Dreaming and the energy boost are all about all I experience. Oh, yeah. 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 I mean, that's. I, that's what I hear, too, from a lot of people. You like the red frame? Yeah, right? It's perfect. It's just freaking perfect. Now, I'm not going to talk about that, Butler. I can't. It's too upsetting. I can't talk about it. You'll have to go look it up. Gorgeous, right? Tron made it. Gave it to me as a gift. Starting in January. Oh, cool. Rio, I'll meet you then. That is badass, right? Right, 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 true. To be able to zoom. <laughs> yeah, no, we could just, you want to look at it some more? We can look at it. He makes, he makes different ones for different entheogens. And this one is clearly about the blue uh, fungi, you know. As you can tell by all the blue and these two in the center. So we can look at parts of it. Let's look at this part right here. Sorry about the reflection and the glare. <laughs> All The detail in this is just really ridiculous. It's just crazy. Tron, how long did this take you? All right, let me get caught up. Jared, I just did a couple of wood burns you would appreciate. Oh, yeah. Like, I'm not very talented and I didn't have the right tools and I can't draw. But if you can, I would love to see you doing a benzo tapering starting January. Oh, Rio. Oh, my God. I wish you so much luck with that. I wish you all the best. I'm so sorry. Stop nightmares. PTSD gives me nightmares and suck. Um, 
Um, okay, look. Nightmares are just reliving trauma pointlessly, right? But what this does is you're actually doing work. So if you deal in a dream that feels bad, there's purpose to it and you heal. You're doing work and you know it. It's difficult. It can be difficult, but I wouldn't say that my nightmares and what, what I get now are, are the same thing. They feel very different. If that makes sense. Oh, hey, Charles. Oh, my God. Hey. Hey. Merry Christmas to you, too. Welcome. Four months ago, uh, Rod, 12 and a half jumbo. Oh, wow. Whoa. Immediately quit the, I was told by the plant medicine and I've never felt better. I've heard people say that, that they tell you what things to start taking and stop taking. And yeah, that's a lot, man. What is regular dose for a journey? I heard people saying he took, what? A hunt, what? No, that's wrong. 100 is very wrong. Yeah. I have videos on dosing. I can't just say what that is. There's all there's so many re reasons why this isn't a one size fits all situation. And you've got to start small and work your way up and find what your micro is. And from that, you find what your macro is. And I have a video about how to find all of that on my website. Great. You'll make a great store. I hope so, Rio. I hope so. Art matters. That's what I'm giving. Jared, always tell people you can always take more if you're not feeling it, but you, un yeah, you can't undo what you've taken. That is so true. Um, uh -huh. I also want to mention I found your amazing content through the courses you did. Oh, yeah, I helped them create a reel to advertising it for their IG page. Oh, cool. Hey, that's cool, Malika. Sure, you're very welcome. Thank you for doing that. Oh, yeah, 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 the spore release. I saw that reel, and I was like, I thought that the the one that's doing, that's running their IG, I didn't know her to work with video, and I had a feeling somebody else was maybe doing it, so it was you. That's cool. You did a great job. It's really great. I was really honored. Thank you. Con E looks like mycelium. I didn't even think about that. Yeah. Wow. I didn't even think about that. But also, like, there's these purple trees over here. Every time I look at it, I see different things in it. And, like, see the walls around her see how it looks like she's standing in a room and she's part of the floor the floor is coming up like look at this the colors okay you can do this <laughs> see these colors like there's all these and they're randomly placed and then look there's a woman's face look it's all faces 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 I've been slacking working on the next one, really. Tendonitis took me down for all oh, that blows. So the one that is L and ending in D, the three letters that is man-made, I've got that drawing here. Do you want me to show it? Excuse me, baby.
I just rearranged my closet and I moved it somewhere. I thought it was in it. But it's not. I'm trying to get it framed, so I'll probably put it down in the basement in my stack of things to deal with in January. But I'm about to rearrange my whole office, so I don't know where I put it. God, that sucks. I really wanted y'all to see it, too. It's really, really beautiful. That's one word for it. <laughs> By blue, do you mean... Yes. Tyler, yes. Wow, so many faces, I know. Like, can you imagine seeing that? Tron, did you have you seen any of that stuff yourself? A year, really? Yeah, but you know, I bet that drawing like this is part of your therapy. How much do you smoke to meet the elders? I don't know. I don't measure it. I just go and go and go until I do, but it's a lot. It's a lot. For an hour before the ceremony and then all during the ceremony over and over and over. It's a lot. It's a lot. I've never measured it. I got lost somewhere in here. Okay. I've been there to his painting. Brian. Audio. Brian's been there to your painting. That's cool. It's really beautiful, right, Moonshine? If I could have worked on it straight with no full-time job, maybe a couple of months. Damn, dude. But it took you a year. Jesus Christ. That's crazy. A year. Late to the party. Hey, Mindy. And I'm late saying hi. I'm backed up. Sorry. Just want to say hello and express my gratitude for you and for creating this channel. Aw, Kings, you're so welcome. Aw. Thanks, folks. I worked hard on it. I bet you did. Butler, dreams trapped and can't find my way out since Emma. My dreams seem to be gone. No, it works pretty quickly. And a lot of times, if you don't remember it, you're doing work that it's probably best you don't remember. You know? Art matters. I'm trying to make sense of what you've written, but I don't understand it. I don't know what any of those words mean put together in a sentence. I'm sorry. I'm trying to make sense of it. I don't, I don't know what you're trying to say. I don't know if you're trying to evade the algorithm. You know, censorship or whatever. Uh, Gladys, a trip set to friends who took 15 each. Okay, they experienced countless ego deaths. Trip for 14 delirium state was dangerous. Yeah. That's a lot. I would never tell anybody to do that. Control their body. I know. They would send us. I know. Fall to the ground. Bang their. I know. It's bad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. That's. Yeah. That. I hate to see that. That's unnecessary. John, I think it would help me. India has helped. I hear a lot about that. I hear a lot about that. People being helped by that. Hi there. Just popped in to say hi. Hello. Hope you've had a blessed day. Oh, hey, Diana. Hey, stay. Are you staying? I'm the new video volunteer. Oh, oh, well, you're welcome, Malika. Well, I'm really behind on these comments. Glad they had you. Oh, John, yeah. Took some pics of these ice formations in the puddles on a hike recently. What? Are those those ice formations that look wispy? They're called something. I've seen them. It has to do with the with the ground and like warming and the temperature patterns and it's made by a, a mushroom. I know I know what you're talking about, I think, maybe if that's what you're talking about. Uh, wood grain turns into faces. That's what a room with wood paneling looks like in the right circumstance. Oh my god, audio, that's cool. That's cool. Spirit world indeed, right? It's really beautiful. I look at it all the time and go, what was he thinking? What happened here? How did he see that? What was going on? What was in motion? We had two people and we called one more guy. Wow. It was scary, but we managed. It's a good thing that they that you were there. Oh, thank you, Chip. Merry Christmas to you. A year. I saw similar on Meza with Mayan. Really? 
Yep, Charles, you made it. Finally. L ending in D. I had the whole world figured out one night and went to sleep the next morning and then I woke up and I forgot everything. I was so pissed. Oh, uh, shit. That's hilarious. So sorry. I asked a question, then got phone call, missed the answer. I'm from Savannah, needing of a road trip. Where would someone go to forage? They grow all over Georgia. Uh, go, Earl, go to my website, to the video on where to look for Amanita. And in the description, it tells you where in your area, what tree, what tree they grow with in your area. Oh, well, it's amazing with it. Uh, yep. Yeah. Hi, Mamba. So happy you found me. I'm happy you found me. <laughs> Heard Paul's statements tell a terrible. I don't even want to talk about that, Nathan. That man owes me. Oh, my God. The messes I've had to clean up. No, if I ever get to talk to him one day, I'll be like, man, come on. You got to make a public statement and clear up the mistakes. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of mistakes. I don't want to run around correcting him, though. I mean, he it was a long time ago and. The things that he said are, are just based on old research and we've had, there's been a lot more and he's not focused on it clearly. Like to most people, his age, this is just crap fungi that's poisonous and neurotoxic and, and who gives a shit because that was what they were taught. And all the new stuff that I'm trying to teach people about is new and who the fuck am I? Nobody knows who the fuck I am. Nobody's listening to y'all. So for me to get someone at his level to listen to what I'm trying to say and to actually go read the, the science. He doesn't realize there's a reason to yet, but because of what I'm doing, Amanita is growing rapidly in popularity and eventually everyone's going to want to have to talk about it. And then eventually he's going to need to talk about it. And the question then is going to be, is he just going to go research it himself or use my stuff and then speak on it? Or is he willing to, come say hi and say, Hey, what do you know? How did you find it? Like, cause he's got a team of researchers. He doesn't need me, but it would be a nice gesture. It would help out, you know, the work I'm trying to do or whatever. But I mean, he doesn't know me anything. I'll probably never be able to like get through to his people. Cause like, it's hard to get to me and I'm just a nobody. So I don't know how I could ever reach him to actually say, Hey, Oh, you're welcome, Earl. Dear, thanks so much for this saying anything else. Okay, thanks for coming, Butler. Thanks for saying hi. And thanks for all the comments and stuff that you, you just comment everywhere. I really appreciate it. Oxymoron that my Anita shirt said, I will find you, right? Right? That is the coolest shirt ever, too. Kevin Feeney had an interview lecture, Texas Mycology Society recently. You won the book? Seriously, Glady, congrats. That's great. New Year's resolution. Finish third drawing and make copies available for purchase, working on reasonable but high quality prints. Tron, they would sell. They would sell. They would sell. I'm late, but I'm here. Hey, the beige. Merry Christmas. You teachings of old lessons, right, Connie? Please do, audio. See, he's a gatekeeper, and that's why he's afraid of Amanita. Yeah, he's done a lot for mycology. I mean, the, the whole boom and the whole decrim movement is because of him. So, yeah, he is a gatekeeper, but I mean, a good one in a good way. No, I think he's only afraid of it because he did what everybody else did. He didn't he, bad science. He didn't have any science available at the time. And he, you know, overdosed. He took too much. Janet, the hand cream you made fixed the cracked skin on my hands. Really? I worked with that stuff for days. I remember making it and thinking that I would make y'all candles that I gave. I gave them gifts at the solstice ceremony thing. And at the last minute, I'm like, you know what? I'm going to give them the hand cream. I'm glad I did. That's cool. It's good stuff too, right? Like my skin is so dry now. And I love it. I'm willing to come say hi. I know, Charles, that's kind of big for you. I've noticed that your writing is better 
and your mental clarity is better and you're braver. Good job. The internet is my ceiling. We're the fruiting bodies, you think? Maybe. That's that's cool. That would be cool. Raw, right, gotta run. Pairing ceremony. Oh, really? Tonight? Aw. Well, safe travels. Bye, Rod. I'm caught up. Oh my god, I'm caught up. What the hell? I'm caught up. On the off. Okay, well, it is 7.30. We've been here for an hour and a half. Stephanie and Chip didn't make it. I have dinner in the oven. Yes, too much hand sanitizer wrecked my hands. Yeah, I bet. Oh, on the way off. Okay. What are you off of? Oh, somebody said they like my shirt. Oh, I answered that. I got that. I got that. I answered that. I just want to make sure I don't forget anybody. Yeah, we've been on here for an hour and 36 minutes. We got 58 people here. That's crazy. So what I want to say to you guys is keep up with your people. Keep up with your communities. Anything that you need to purchase online that you know is getting censored, make sure you find your people and their websites off of social media and Etsy and all of that, you know. Make sure that you learn how to get cryptocurrency. Learn how to get you some so that you can get the things that you need. There's an app that you can download to your phone. It's really, it. the learning curve is a little bit weird, but if you just stick with it, let me find Trust. There's an app called Trust Wallet. This is what it looks like. It's a shield, right? Anyway, it's a shield. It's a blue shield. It's called Trust Wallet. And once you have that, you connect it to a funding source. And when you move funds into it, then you can buy any cryptocurrency you want. And then you can use that to then check out on someone's website. As long as you stay on your phone, you can use that to go through checkout. And I'm trying to automate it so that you don't have to manually do it, but that it would be a regular form of payment and check out. But a lot of stores are having to go to that because of censorship or whatever. And then if you want to become a part of our community, become a patron. If you have like subscriptions to Netflix and stuff like that, and you don't use it anymore, move that money to me to Patreon, because instead of buying merch or instead of a show that you don't watch or a, a thing that you don't watch or don't use anymore, you'll use this because we meet up on our Zoom meetings. Depending on you know whichever level you get in at, you'll have one every Saturday for the first three Saturdays. If you get in at the lowest level that you can, you're still going to have the one with me on the second Saturday and then the one for the community on the third Saturday of the month. And I look forward to them every single month. Like they make me happy. They make me look forward to Saturday. So you get a lot. And then, you know, whoever you meet there, everyone exchanges information or whatever so that they can talk outside of that or whatever. So if you want to do that and you want to have some community in all of this and you have subscriptions to things that are just waning and you're not doing much with that money anymore, then I need the support. I'm out here begging for funds to keep supporting the censorship and the movements and all the things I have to do to keep staying online and doing what I do. And then the summer solstice thing, I'll be pulling from patrons to do that. 56 people. That's crazy. Trying to catch up. My bad. Oh my God, Stephen Chipper here. Peace and love and fungi. Y'all, y'all. Canceled my pawn subscription and became a patron. Brian, you did? Just now? Oh my God, you did. Brian, yay. Okay, cool. I'll, I'll meet you soon. Natalia. Thank you. Charles, there can be one a year sub fee. No, it's monthly. I wish they would do a yearly thing. It makes it really hard. A lot of people want to do just a one year thing. 
Thank you. I'll be seeing you guys in the forum soon. All right, Nathan. Spruce oak birch, just paper birch, silver birch too. It's in that list. I don't know. It's in the list. Oh, wow. Y'all said a lot of stuff. Holy crap. How did I miss all of this? Too much on the way. Uh, I love Paul's field guide to the blues. I hear it's hard to find and real expensive. Gladys, please try to get Ava Maché checked for an interview. It would be awesome. I'm working on it probably in January or February. Uh, sweating is the result of ibotenic acid. Well, it's part the ibotenic acid, part conversion, and part muscarine. Although there's only a tiny amount in it, it still will cause sweating. Hello from North Carolina, Clinton. Oh, hey. Hey, Clinton. Thank you for this dreamer. Oh, you're welcome, Atomic. We all need somebody on Christmas, man. Thank you. I'll be seeing you guys. Oh, yep. Okay, Nathan. See ya. Thanks for coming. Catherine, thank you. Merry Christmas. I'm so glad Steph and Chip made it. Oh, my God. Uh, Nancy, hey. Oh, we're up to 60 people now. My God. What? Merry Christmas and thank you, Dreamer. Oh, Yuko, hi. Merry Christmas, Rob. Brian, who pays for prawn in 2021? What is prawn? <laughs> yeah, this is a great end of my Christmas. Oh, you make my day all the time. Every time, audio is always one of the first people to comment on my videos. Did I see your last comment? Hang on, Diana, let me scroll up and find it. Sorry, don't mean to be rude. Oxymoron that my Amanita shirt said, I will find you. Why is it an oxymoron? Now, I met her at the Mushroom Festival here in Georgia, and she had one of these on her shirt, and it said, I will find you. And I'm like, oh, my God, can I take a picture of your shirt? And she was taken aback. She's like, um, okay, yeah. <laughs> I was like, I'm a YouTuber. I'm going to put it on my video, but I won't show your face. And then she's like, no, that's okay. And so I wound up, but she's in the video. You'll see her in the video. Is that the comment you were in reference to? Some channels have a one-year subscription. What? What? I have not seen that. Okay. I'm going to go research that tonight. I'm going to fix that tonight if I can, because a lot of people ask for that. Look for one year Patreon. I wonder if that was something they used to offer and some people have grandfathered in on that. I hope not. Uh, where was I? Let mm, some uh, have any effect on Amanita muscaria does. Oh, MAO inhibitors? No, Amanita boosts the effects of an MAOI, actually. The other way around. I think any of these experiences cause sweating, just an opinion. I mean, that's been my experience with all of it, the sweating. Thank you for the quick crypto instructions. Oh, yeah, Annalise. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So what you'll need to do, though, if... What, baby? Freya, come here, sweetie. No, they want treats. It's time for treats. Once you're in trust, you there's buy, send, and receive. It's whiting out. It's flashing really bad. But those buttons say buy, send, and receive. And it's that easy. You just copy the address and paste it. You're welcome. Um, says 65 in the chat on my end. 65 what? 65 people are in the chat. Uh, it says 55 for me right now. That's crazy. The black and white cat is so cute. She's gray. She's gray and white. That's stormy. Light her up there. No. She's gray. She's so beautiful. She was almost dead. It was her and her siblings. There were five kittens and mama cat, and they were all near death when I found them and nursed them all back to health and got them all homes and because she's the one who came screaming for help. I kept her and I kept her mom. 
After that, Diana, I don't have anything from you. After that, I've scrolled through here several times. Did it get removed? Are they censoring this? Nope. I don't have anything after the oxymoron about your shirt. It must be getting censored out. It's kind of scary. See you in summer, summer if not sooner. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Hi from the UK. Hey, David. Matthew from the Celsius Weekend. Just saying hello and thank you for doing the Christmas thing. Oh, that's you. AUS PPC. Yeah, Matt came to our Celsius ceremony. That's three people here that are from the Celsius ceremony. It was so great finally getting to meet you, man. It was so cool. And I did a high dose of cacao. It was very interesting. Like, I couldn't really feel my feet. Like, I felt like I was just sort of flowing. It was very... We'll talk about it sometime. Found my first Amanita after first Zoom and the last after the last Zoom. Really? That's cool. How long ago? Because I know, like, where you are, the latitude that you're on. Was that, like, a couple of weeks ago? Oh, Tessa, thank you. Bye. Bayer Independent had a year for 10. May have been a limited offer. Okay, I'll look into it, John. All right, Gladdy, bye. You're welcome. Bye. Merry Christmas. Yep, I got it, Diana. I see her gray color now. That's such a sweet story. Oh, yeah. My babies. And sh they're all rescues, but <clears throat> these two were able to be with their moms, both of them. But they were all near death, the gray one. And she had a mom that kept making kittens like every six months. And the people that own the house that her mom is at will not trap her and get her fixed. And they were going to kill the kittens. So I took the kittens and I found them homes and I kept her. But as far as I know, yeah. The whole cat situation down here in the South is bad because... Dogs have homes. We don't have stray dogs running around here. They get caught and taken to animal control. But the cats, the cat population here is exploding. It's bad because it, we have such good weather down here. They survive the winter. And they just keep making that we just, it's bad. It's so bad. And we don't have enough rescues and facilities and time and people and money to deal with it. We saved a screamer cat too. <laughs> Isn't that great? And they just come screaming like, oh, my God, help us. How do they know to go to a human for help, but they don't go to a raccoon or a horse or a dog? Like, how do they know to go to a human for help? Kit Kat. Aw. Well, 58 people are here. I don't want to say bye to everybody, but we have been going for an hour and 45 minutes, and I got dinner in the oven, and I'm hungry. For Christmas, I bought myself another vintage audio receiver. What? Sansumi 8080. Ooh, it's gorgeous. Sounds amazing. After this, it's Smashing Pumpkin. Oh, I love Smashing Pumpkins. I saw them in concert. Same here in South Texas. More feral cats some resources to help them all. All I can do is try. I know. I have. I make the rounds to, to shopping centers, and I buy these big bins and fill them full of food and just leave them out for the cats. Like, I make beds for them and just take them and drop them off at all the shopping centers like it's so bad um hi amanita how do you keep preserved amanita tincture made in distilled water so victor if it's in distilled water then that's tea and i freeze like three-fourths of it in separate containers in the freezer and only take one out at a time and use it but you can simmer it down and condense it and put alcohol in it and put it in a bottle and that turns it sort of like into a, a tincture. I've also got other recipes on my website. I got to be careful here. Censorship. I saved a mama cat and babies. Neighbors moved out and left them with no food or Jesus Christ. Like that stuff makes me livid. Really, 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 really. really. <clears throat> Mycorrhizal relationship with trees. I think it's spruce, oak, birch, but is it white or silver or both? And does it matter which type of spruce? I don't know. 
I don't know. Sorry. I'm not familiar with ones that grow with those. They go with pine down here and like cedar and birch up in Vancouver. Um, I didn't make that list. The guy that runs the Amanita Growth Patterns group on Facebook, he made that list. And I gave him credit there, like in the credits. If you want to go there and ask questions, that would be the place to do it on Facebook. We have too many stray cats here too. My landlord works in rescue. Oh, that's good. At least you know somebody's working in rescue. Malika. Saw him in 92 and 2000. Really? 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 It was a great concert too, right? They're good showmen's show peoples. Just got here. I want to say thank you. Hey, Cyan. Looking for a cat to love. Do you adopt them out? These are permanent. They, I, I have five and they stay with me, but Next summer, they'll need homes. They're everywhere. There's so many. Yes, I would gladly adopt them out. Sean, as a kid, my dad, we get paid for every cat. Oh, no, no, I'm going to talk about that. I hope everyone here has an extra special day. Aw, are you out, Diana? Love you, Amanita. Have a great night. Bye, Sansi. Thanks for coming. If we're going, good night and be well, y'all. All right, John. I just purchased a few of your products and Etsy have been checking out your website. Where do I specific info of what to do? Cyan, go to amityadreamer.net and go to um, my store, the page that's about my store, and you got to watch the videos. I can't tell you what to do. I can just tell you how I made them and why I made them, but I can't tell you how to use it because that's illegal. Oh, thank you, B. I appreciate you guys. Look at this. Look what I'm doing on Christmas Day because of y'all. This is like the best. How is your Ann Arbor experience integration going? I think I'm okay now. It was a good, it was a long like nine months. Do you have some occasional aha moments till this day? Um, They stopped finally, but for like nine months, eight and a half grams was a lot. It took like nine months of that, of aha moments and deep, dark depressions and existential crises. But yeah, I think I finally sorted it out after like nine months. Thank you for your videos. They're very helpful and I'm loving it. Oh, yay. Good, Casper. Cool. Hey, Casper. <laughs> hey, Philip. PH Joy. Hello. Merry Christmas to you all. Oh, I got a white one. Really? You must be really far north. Hello, lovely mushroom weather in Queensland, Australia. Y'all, y'all are going to be blowing up my channel in April and May. Dove's eye. More people are alone this holiday. Do think of them. Help you if you can. That's why I'm here. Earl, I came across by Sporgera, destroying angel. Is this in the same family? No, it's in the same genus, but there's 800 mushrooms in this genus. 800. So it's only one of 800. But it's Amanita bisporagera. This would be Amanita muscaria, but there's like 800 Amanita. <laughs> there's a cool book too. Um, if you want to learn about some, it doesn't cover them all clearly. And I interviewed um, Rod Tulos that has the largest website that covers all the Amanitas. But his interview is on here on YouTube. But then this book, the Amanitas of North America, Britt and Jay wrote it, but these are only the North American ones because the genus is just so freaking large. Annalise, I've got dinner in the oven. Got to run. Thank you for coming. Much love. Merry Christmas. I've been so inspired by you and our solstice. Wasn't it amazing? Yup. Probably New Year's. Um, we also rest. Uh, we, uh, mm, mm, mm. That be Gus. Aw, 20 pound. That's a huge cat, man. I had one wrap present from my stepmom, but I thought of you. I got this handmade bag. This what? What? That's cool. That's cool. That's cool. Look at it. Look, look. Look at this ring. It's a locket, but I'm thinking about putting. Um, I made a lip product that's going to be for sale in the January store, and I'm thinking about putting it in this. Yeah, you jumped in the deep end, having never swam with that one. Yeah, I did. Something told me to do it. We got lucky to get snow. My sister's an hour south and didn't. Yeah, you are. 
All right, Diana. Thank you for coming. Bye. Oh, yeah. Hit like. It'll bump it up in the algorithm. I forget to ask y'all to do all that. Taking high doses for years. Now I think it's time for me to try. Maybe. Let me know how it goes. I love the lip sample you sent with your purchase. Oh, good. Yeah, I figured I sent everybody so much samples. No one will buy the lip stuff because they don't need it. I like to fermented some for the first time. Super subtle effects, probably helping with the inflammation. Oh, yeah, definitely. Definitely. Hey, Daryl, we're about to leave, though. You just saying hi before we go. Love the lip balm. Very smooth. Awesome. I love the feedback. I am uh, I actually just poured it all today, and I'm about to stick all the labels and everything on. Just trying to get ready for January. It's helped me feel connected, isolated by trauma right now. But this raised my, oh, chase some social anxiety. Away. Oh, my God, that's why I did it. Yay. We'll be a patron soon. Awesome. This is the best therapy. Is it not to feel so isolated for so long like the weird one? And then finally you get around, like, see what's going on in the comment section. This is what goes on in our Zooms on, on my Patreon, like, except verbally. We're on, we can all talk to each other. It's so beautiful. Oh, uh, y'all, it is my pleasure. You shared it with me. I'm the original one that went public that was all isolated and didn't have a tribe. Like, and now look. Oh, beige, cool. Yeah, I like that, that cream too. I like it. I use it a lot. All right, y'all. I don't want to go, but we've been together for two hours. <laughs> All right, Raleigh. Thanks for saying hi. I love you guys. I'll see you on Patreon. I got a lot of videos I'm still working on. I still stuff from Canada, interviews and stuff that it still haven't had time to edit because censorship keeps making me back up and have to fix things that got broken. But once I get that store up and running, I'll be back to but I know I've got a couple of um, more shadow work videos coming for the coffee, have coffee with me videos. So, all right, y'all, I love you. Thank you for spending Christmas with me. I've been looking forward to this all day. Merry Christmas. Can you advise about doses? I cannot. That is practicing medicine without a license. I've been micro for months. Not sure when to stop, start. I have a protocol that I can do, and it's on my website, amanitadreamer.net. Okay. We have a snippet of you live. I'm alone today, but doing okay. Now we're all doing okay. Hold all of us in your heart. There's 60 of us that have been here, right? So let's all hold each other in our heart as part of our family and be glad that we got to hang out with each other today. Big order coming your way. Oh, yay. Okay. <laughs> I will appreciate it. Oh, Malika. Yay. All right, y'all. I'm going to go eat. I'm hungry. I love you all. I love you, beautiful people. You are my family. Merry Christmas. <laughs>